We're back for another week of NFL action, joined once again by a CBS local sports expert, helping us break down four games from week 13 and also pick the winners for those matchups. This week, we have Mike Cunha with CBS Miami as we focus on the AFC East. Mike, how's it going? It's going great. The Dolphins are winning down here, so it's a little change of pace for us. We're not totally used to this. So everything's going well. All right, well, we're going to save the Dolphins for last. Can't wait to talk about them. But let's start off at the bottom of the division with the winless Jets. Is there any chance that they get their first win of the season this week at home against the Las Vegas Raiders? No, there's no chance they do. Look, the Raiders' eight-point favorites coming into this game, even if Josh Jacobs is banged up with that injured ankle, I just don't see the Jets being able to score enough points. And, you know, honestly, if they're tanking for real or, or, or tanking uh, inadvertently, they're doing a good job of the tank. And I think that continues. I think they really want to get a guy like Trevor Lawrence next year. Uh, Carr, Derek Carr had a bad game last week against Atlanta. I don't think we see two in a row. Uh, he's been playing pretty consistent this year. And the Jets, just at the end of the day, really can't score on anybody. And that's their biggest issue, to be honest, whether you want to talk about tanking or not. Their offense is very inept, so I like the uh, Las Vegas Raiders to win the season. Working our way up the division ladder, the 5-6 and six Patriots heading to Los Angeles to face the Chargers. Two teams really struggling to be consistent this year, so how do you see this one playing out? Yeah, this one was a little tough to pick because I look at these two teams and I think the Chargers, they can put up points with the offense they have. And again, Justin Herbert, of course, Keenan Allen, one of the top wide receivers in the NFL, but for some reason... They're just not putting it all together. But when I look at the Patriots team, again, similar to the Jets, where they don't put up a whole lot of offense, they've got a lot of question marks in the receiving core, a lot of question marks in their running game as well. And then Cam Newton is certainly not the MVP Cam Newton uh, we've known. Right now, this is a very close game. I think I'm tending to lean towards the Chargers. I think they finally break out of this weird funk where they're losing close games. And I think they win a close one against the Patriots. An unexpected star for sure in Herbert as the starting quarterback this year. Next up, let's talk about AFC East leading Bills taking on the 49ers. Scheduled for Monday night in Arizona because the 49ers can't play or practice at their facilities due to local COVID restrictions. So, Mike, does that have any sort of impact on this game, and who do you see winning it? I think it does. The Bills have really been kind of the class and the most consistent team in the AFC East this year. The emergence of Josh Allen as a star in the NFL is very for real. And you look at the, what's really been going on with the 49ers, not even just this last week, but dating all the way back to weeks one and two of the season, where they have just been crushed by injuries week in and week out. Credit this team, though, for being competitive every week. They beat the Rams last week. That throws some questions into that division. But I don't think there's going to be any questions about what happens in the AFC East because of this game against the 49ers. I think the Bills are able to handle a team that's depleted with injuries and honestly has a lot of distractions around because of those COVID restrictions on where they can and cannot play. So I think the Bills uh, do win this, but I think it's a competitive game, maybe more so than people think. And finally, Mike, the Dolphins are at home this week taking on a Bengals team with just two wins on the season. And now, without their starting quarterback, Joe Burrow, after he suffered a season-ending injury in Week 11. It really seems like this is a game that the Dolphins have to win to keep pace with the Bills in the division. They really do. They really needed to get to that 9-10 win threshold, whether it's to win the AFC East outright or to get into the playoffs as a wild card. You know, we were actually just able to speak to Tua Tonga Valoa. I asked him, you know, you're not going to be a part of that Tua Burrow Bowl that a lot of people we're going to see. So it was disappointing, but he did reach out to Joe Burrow to express, you know, condolences. He's, he's a guy who's been there with a big injury before. And of course, you don't want to see anyone go through that. So we'll have to wait another year or so before we get that to a Burrow Bowl. But as far as Brandon Allen's concerned, the Bengals backup QB, I don't envy the position he is in. He's going up against one of the deep, best defensive backs groups in the entire NFL. When you look at Byron Jones, Xavier and Howard, it seems like Howard gets a pick every, every game. Right now, he's up to seven on the season. He leads the NFL. To me, when those corners are shutting down opposing offenses, then you see those quarterbacks start to take hits. Then you see the, uh, opposing run games become less effective because that team becomes one-dimensional. So for as far uh, or as for all the, the problems the Bengals have this year and 
um, you know, with the injuries, especially at the quarterback position, I don't see there's an avenue for them to win this game. But I will say this, Joe Burrow is the truth, and he is going to be a very good quarterback. The Bengals can at least hang their hat on that. But I think the Dolphins win this at home. They're finally back at home. They're going to win this by double digits. Double digits. I'm sure the fans in Miami love to hear it. Mike, thank you so much for joining us today and talking all about AFC East matchups. I appreciate you. Katie, thank you so much. I'm glad we all got over the itis from Thanksgiving. Now it's back to football, and let's make those runs to the playoffs. Let's make those runs to the playoffs. Hey, we will be back again next week with another expert and even more games to break down for you. Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.